Okay, let's talk about solving linear systems by elimination and we're going to focus on just two variables. Here's how we're going to approach this. We're going to explain linear system of equations. We're going to also go through the steps that we need to follow to solve linear systems by elimination and then we're going to apply them with some examples. So what are linear systems? A linear system consists of two equations with two unknown variables. So we're going to look at two equations and two unknown variables and the unknown variables should be the same. So for example, I can say 2x plus 3y equal to 7, 5x minus 6y equal to 3. So this is a system of a linear system of equation because we have two unknown variables and we also have two equations. So generally linear systems can be solved using the elimination or substitution methods but in this lesson we're going to focus on the elimination method. So how do we go about solving systems by elimination? So we want to first start by arranging the equations so that the variables are on the same side and in the same order. So here's what we mean by that. We want, we want something like x plus y equal to 3, 2x plus 3y equal to 5. So here we have variables are on the same side and they're also in the same order. And then we're going to then choose a variable to eliminate. And in order to do that, we're going to multiply each of the equations by a number that makes their coefficients the same. So generally, we will say we want to find a number that we multiply for the variable that we plan to eliminate. We want to find a number that we multiply so we can end up with the same least common multiple. And then we will add the equations together. Sometimes you can subtract. We'll try. I'll show you how to go about that to eliminate the variable and then we'll solve for the other variable. So the variable that did not get eliminated, we will solve for that variable. And then right after that, we'll use the substitution method to solve for the variable that was eliminated. So let's go ahead and try some examples together. So here's our first system 2x plus 3y equal to 6 x plus 2y equal to 5. So we want to choose a variable to eliminate. So we can say, um, let's go ahead and eliminate y. We're going to eliminate the variable y. So let's write that here. We will eliminate y. Okay, so in order to eliminate y, we need to find, uh, we need to first of all find the least common multiple of its coefficients. So the least common multiple of 2 and 3 will be 6. So we need to find a number that will multiply both of these equations by such that we can, we can eliminate the variable y. So here's how I'm going to go about it. I will, because it's 6, I'm going to make one of them positive and the other one negative so I can easily add them and get rid of the y. So I'm going to multiply, let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. So I'm going to multiply, I always like to show steps, it shows that uh, you understand what you're doing. We're going to multiply equation 1 by 2. So that is going to give us 4x plus 6y equal to 12. And now because I want to be able to add this, I want to be able to add the second, um, the second equation. I want to be, I want to be able to add it to the first equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply equation two, multiply equation two by negative three. That would give us negative six here and we can easily add them up. So we have negative three x and then we have minus 6y equal to negative 15. So now I can say this is equation 3 
and I can call this equation 4. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say equation 3 plus equation 4. Let's go ahead and add them up. We're going to add 4x plus negative 3x. That is going to give us x. 6y plus negative 6y is going to give us 0. So I can say plus 0 equal to 12 plus negative 15 is negative 3. So we can see here that x equal to negative 3. So now that we have the value of x as negative 3, we're going to select any of the equations and we're going to substitute. So I'm going to select, I'm going to select equation 2. So I'll just simply say substitute, substitute x equal to negative 3 in equation 2. So what we can do here now is say negative 3 plus 2y equal to 5. So let's go ahead and solve this. Plus 3 here, plus 3 here. So 2y equal to 8. And then we can divide by 2 to get the value of y. So y equal to 4. So we can see finally our answer is x equal to negative 3 y equal to 4. And then in the case of algebra, if we're dealing with slopes, if we're trying to find this, if we're trying to find the point of intersection of two lines, we can write it in coordinate form, and this becomes negative 3, 4 as the point of intersection. So here's another example. 4x plus 5y equal to 6. 6x minus 7y equal to negative 20. So we're going to start this by eliminating y as well. So let's take note of that. Eliminate y. Okay, so in order to eliminate y, we need to find a number that makes the coefficient the same but with different signs. So we have 5 and 7 here. The least common multiple of 5 and 7 is 35. So that simply means that we're going to multiply. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. So let's go ahead and say multiply. Multiply equation 1 by 7. Equation 1 by 7. And we have 28x plus 35y equal to 42. And then we're going to multiply equation 2, equation 2 by 5. And then we're going to have 30x minus 35y equal to negative 100. It should be 100, not 1,000. Negative 100. So now we're going to add up these two equations together. This is the new equation 3 and this is equation 4. So we can simply say this is 3 plus 4. So that is going to give us 28x plus 30x, 58x, 35y minus 35y, that is 0. And then this is negative 58. When you add 42 and negative 100, negative 58. So 58x equal to negative 58. And we divide by the coefficient of x, which is 58. And we have x equal to negative 1. So the next step we're going to take here is substitute. Substitute x equal to negative 1 in equation 1. So this is going to give us 4 multiplied by negative 1 plus 5y equal to 6. So this is negative 4 plus 5y equal to 6. Let's go ahead and add 4 to both sides. And we have 5y equal to 10. And we divide both sides by 5. And we have y equal to 2. So therefore, our answers are going to be, our answer is going to be x equal to negative 1, y equal to 2. And then in coordinate form, we can write it as negative 1, 2. 
Okay, let's try one more here. So we have negative 3x plus 7y equal to negative 16. Negative 9x plus 5y equal to 16. So this here is our equation 1. This is our equation 2. And this time around, I am going to eliminate x. Just want to try a different one so that you don't think every time you have to eliminate y. We're going to eliminate x. So we have 3 and 9. The greatest common, the least common multiple of 3 and 9 is going to be 9. So we need to find some way to make sure that both of them have a coefficient of 9, but, the, but we have different signs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say equation 1 multiplied by negative 3. That way I'm going to get a positive 9 here that we can easily add. Equation 1 multiplied by negative 3 is going to give us 9x minus 21y equal to 48. And because we have a negative 9 as a coefficient of x in the second equation, I can simply just say equation 2 multiplied by 1, which simply means we're not changing anything there. So we have negative 9x plus 5y equal to 16 and then we're going to add up this becomes equation number three this one stays equation number two so we can say equation number three plus equation number two and that is going to give us zero minus 16 y equal to 64 so one thing you can do, sometimes it could be confusing because you have all these negatives and if you're not very, if you're not very proficient with that and sometimes you get confused, it's not a bad idea to just put a plus here. You can put a plus here. You can also put a plus here if you want because that's what you're doing. You're, you're actually adding. So this is going to be negative 16y equal to 64. And then we're going to divide by negative 16 on both sides. And we have y equal to negative 4. So now we're going to substitute, substitute y equal to negative 4 in, let's go with equation 2. So we have negative 9x plus 5 multiplied by negative 4 equal to 16. So negative 9x minus 20 equal to 16. So let's go ahead and add 20 to both sides. And we have negative 9x equal to 36. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 9 to get the value of x. And we have x equal to negative 4. So therefore, we can say our answer is that x equal to negative 4 y equal to negative 4 and then in coordinate form we can say this is negative 4 negative 4. so there you go those are the steps you want to follow when you are trying to solve a linear system using the process of elimination